Hey, what's up everyone? Um, I want to show you how to set up an app called Soundlot so that you can use it with Escape from Tarkov and hopefully save save your hearing a little bit. Um, so Tarkov, um, Tarkov has very dynamic audio, uh, meaning that the quiets are very quiet and the louds are very loud. Um, and what's cool about the game is that um, there's all these headsets too that compress audio in different ways. So there's there's just a lot of variation in audio, but it gets really loud. Um, so it's really helpful to run this app because what it does is it sets a ceiling for how loud loud can go so that you can limit your volume in loud situations. Um, so I wanna show you how to set it up and how to kind of fine tune it and sort of explain what it does and what it doesn't do. Um, so right, like this is a free app, which is awesome. So you can go download this um, from the interwebs. I'll put a link down there so you can find it real quick, but you know, Google finds this thing pretty fast. Um, easy to install and easy to run. Um, and what it is, is it's a limiter. So the, the limiter has a little volume slider and you basically set this threshold where um, all the audio below it, when it's so loud, it's not doing anything. But like when the audio hits that threshold and wants to go above it, it just super compresses it actually to like an actual infinite to one ratio. So it actually never allows the audio to go above that threshold. Um, so uh, it comes in really handy with this game just to help uh, really just fine tune the gunshots. And that, that's what I use it for. Um, and that's, that's what this app isn't. So a lot of people may think, oh, you know, you're trying to cheese the audio and you're trying to like, uh, you'll boost all the quiet stuff so that you can hear people and get an advantage over them. And this is actually, it, it doesn't do that because like what I just said, you when you set your threshold right, everything below it is just as is. It just comes out as it should and it doesn't actually process the audio. Um, it basically just makes a ceiling so that loud stuff doesn't go above a certain volume. Um, so what I like to do is I'll go into factory in like an offline mode. And I like factory because you can find a bunch of different services all in one spot. So you can get, run on some metal, you can run on some stairs. And it's got this kind of a loud, bangy, echoey noise to it. So it's, it's a good area to kind of test this out and kind of calibrate this app. Um, let's see. So the other thing about SoundLock to understand is that SoundLock it, it basically installs on your PC and it, it pretty much installs after your audio output. So basically it limits all of your audio coming out of your PC. And that's important to know because you, that you have to know that setting it up because you have to choose a certain volume on your output and just stick with it. So you wanna choose a volume and then adjust sound lock and then pretty much never touch it again. Um, and it's really helpful to have like some volume control external to your PC. So like my headphones have a little volume switch and that's super helpful because I can set up sound lock. I'll set up my PC down to hundred and it's just always in the same spot. Um, what happens if you don't have an external audio, you can still, uh, or an external volume control, you can still use this, but you just have to finick around with the volume a little bit more. Um, and what that, what I mean by that is like when I'm running around, See that little audio meter on the right side? If I turn my PC volume down, it's actually feeding less volume into SoundLock. See, it's really low now. Um, so that's why you wanna kind of find one setting and kind of fine tune this, and then basically just kind of leave it at that. Um, so yeah, when you get SoundLock, you wanna change a few things first. In the settings, um, you wanna go to filter mode and change this. I think it defaults on per channel, and you can see how there's like two little bars there for my audio jumping up and down. Um, what it's doing is it's processing left and right separately. And that's really bad for Tarkov because it'll screw with your directional audio. Like if there's a gunshot on your right side, it'll compress only the right side. And then on the left side, it may actually be louder. And then you'll, you'll just think that stuff is coming from the opposite side. Actually, it almost like flips your left and right when you do that. Um, so you want filter master, so it will treat left and right evenly. So if there's a gunshot on, on the right side, it'll still compress the left side and it, it lowers everything. So your direction is maintained. Um, the next thing is um, when I'm running around trying to tweak it, I'll actually just select the always show. That way I can kind of just measure it in real time. 
That way it stays up above on my window. Um, right, so I, I load into factory, and what I like to do is kind of bring some guns in, and I'll bring some uh, headsets in, and just kind of swap things around and try to just adjust this slider so that I'm not really screwing with the audio that much, but I'm, I'm capping off my gunshots and the loud stuff. Um, so I'll start with like with no headset because this is kind of like like a scav run and that's that's actually when it's like the worst is your scav runs are like um, super dynamic audio wise your your footsteps are quiet then your gunshots cover your ears <laughs> super loud right and that's that's just bad for your ears to constantly be doing that all day long um, so um, I'll run around on different surfaces and I'll just kind of watch this audio level. So you can see the audio meter jumping up around. And right now, is, you're, you're without a headset, you're not gonna be triggering anything really. Um, but what you wanna do is slide this down. Let's say, let's like, let's like put it right, let's put it low first. We'll, we'll, I'll show you like how not to use it first. Um, so you, well, you wanna run around and just do normal, normal PMC or scab things like reload. You see, even reloading goes above the threshold. It's actually a pretty loud thing. Um, you can heal if you hurt yourself. Um, you can throw grenades and stuff like that. Let's throw a grenade. We'll see how loud this is. Ouch. Well, that's, that's ridiculous, right? So let's turn this on, and then we'll see what kind of a difference this makes. We'll throw another grenade like that. Heck yeah, that's awesome, right? Um, but what you want to do is, um, it, it might be hard to hear in this video, um, but you can actually kind of overdo this threshold. So that's what I want to show you how to do. How to, how, like, where, you, where do you find the right settings for this thing? Um, so what happens with this is if you push it too low, um, what happens is you're going to get a lot of audio pumping. So you can hear it. I mean, if you can hear the ambient sound of factory, I'll reload, and what, what you'll hear is you actually hear factory getting quieter. Let me try to make it a little bit more pronounced. So it's called audio pumping. Like you, you what you're getting is like a, a volume increase and decrease over like as you start doing stuff, and you, you want to avoid that because what that does is that'll actually really mess with your distance. Um, if you hear a gunshot close to you, it'll get really, it'll sound really quiet and you'll think it's really far away. So what you want to do is actually kind of minimally set this so that you're, you're running around normal things aren't triggering, but your gunshots are. And then once I start finding some good spots for it, where the audio doesn't seem to get all wacky, um, I'll, I'll pop on some headsets because this actually, this will raise the volume of the audio. So like. We'll use the GSSHs because they're pretty terrible, but they're they're a good example. So you'll see my footsteps get a lot louder. Metal gets loud. Stairs get even louder. And reloading's pretty loud. So you can see sound lock working. It's just hitting that ceiling and it's not letting it go any higher. Um, so let's turn it off, and you can see. Uh, comparison. Like, dang, look how loud that is. And then you turn it on. So that's a lot more manageable to then set like an external volume and just have a constant kind of volume. Um, so what I want to do though is to find the sweet spot, you want to wear these headsets you don't actually want this threshold triggering. You, you want to set it just up above. So that things like running or running on metal. It doesn't trigger it that hard so that you're not getting audio pumping and, and messing with your distance judgment. Uh, let's test some other ones, like some swordings.
So all that, that that's a good level because it's not actually triggering any of that stuff. And then when I shoot, it limits it. So it's so what's cool is about about Tarkov is the, actually the audio in it is really unique because it's very dynamic without these things, without the headsets. But the headsets actually add compression to stuff in game. So it's kind of like doing the same thing as Soundlocker. Another way to think about it is Soundlock is almost like wearing a headset, like if you're a scav and you don't have one. Um, let me turn it off. I'm kind of curious to see what the swords are doing. So without... It goes just a little bit above it. But, you know, trick, putting that on is going to really help. Just even out the audio. Let's try some. So yeah, that, that's a good spot for it. And um, once you finally, once you get this setting um, and, you, and you get it to where you like it, um, what you do is you just go back in and do the always show sound. Just uncheck that and the box goes away and then it's not in your way. It's just running in the background and you're all good. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that helps you. Um, kind of get this set up and use this to hopefully protect your hearing because you want your ears, right? It's good. So yeah, um, that's that and uh, good luck. Thank you.